Hello folks, uh, it is uh, 2019, October, November, paper 4 this time, paper 4 2, and the question number is question number 11. The first question says, uh, state Faraday's law of electromagnetic induction, so uh, it's uh, just a statement, it says that uh, the EMF produced in a closed circuit or a coil is uh, uh, <coughs> directly proportional to the rate of change of flux linked to the coil. <coughs> so, that, that's all. Uh, so you have to you have to remember the person of EMF and uh, uh, and um, that its dependence uh, which is the rate of change of magnetic flux and linkage linked to the coil. So you can't uh, care for the other uh, other uh, field lines just linked to the coil. So in number two we have got a solenoid S has a small coil C placed near to one of its ends. So this is the solenoid S. You can see the windings here, windings are coming from here and going here. And we have another small coil here, small coil C, uh, 63 turns. So this is N, N. Uh, this is the diameter. This is D of the coil, diameter and uh, this thing. Uh, so now the question should be in the next page. This is the conditions. The, the coil C has circular cross section of a diameter. 3.6 into 10 to the power minus 2 meters. So, as you, I have already stated here, the diameter is uh, 3.6 into 10 to the power minus 2 meters. Meters contains 63 turns. So this is a n, and this is the diameter d. The solenoid S produces a uniform magnetic field of flux density b b in Tesla in the region of coil C given by the expression. So its uh, magnetic field in this region is this much. And as we know that the uh, strength of magnetic field uh, decreases as the distance increases, so it will be less, 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 less here, less, less, less here, less here, and less here, and so on. So these areas are often the areas with the strongest field outside the outside its territory. So inside is very strong, and outside these are the areas with the strongest magnetic fields. The variation with time t of the current I in solid S is shown like this. So it's the variation of current here, current. So it starts from somewhere middle value, maximum uh, zero, negative maximum zero, positive maximum, and so on. So just uh, uh, to st uh, just study studying the magnetic fields, currents here. Now state two times at which there is no EMF induced in coil C. So we have to mention those times at which EMF is not induced in coil C. So one thing that we have to uh, we have to uh, take care of is that uh, when current changes here, the field lines also change. The number of field lines also change. So when current changes, number of field lines also change. And if current is constant, the field lines will also be constant. That means they will not change. Or say let us say uh, they increase here, they increase, increase, increase. Now it's in the process of decrease. So that means that at that particular time. At that particular time, they are at rest. They are at rest and they are not sweeping it. They are not cutting it. The flux is not changing through the coil. So at the resting phase, resting phase of current, the flux is not changing through the through the coil. It's neither going like this nor going like this. So 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 when the current is constant, current is constant even for a moment. At that time, there is no uh, cutting or sweeping here. Uh, the flux is not changing in this coil, and so EMF should be. Uh, zero is because we have the formula here E is equal to D phi by DT magnitude wise and if I consider sine it is minus sine there so so when uh, there is no change of current no change of current uh, we have EMF will be zero so no change of current means at this time it is T1 at this time it is T3 T5 and T7 so we have to list two times so it will be one is a T1 and one is T3. So I can also use 3, 3 and 3, 5. I can also use T5 and T7. Anything goes. Now, the induced EMF in coil C is a maximum but with opposite polarities. As you can see here, the induced EMF is given by this much, including this uh, sign also, negative sign also here. So that means uh, whenever the variation is high, variation of phi is high, is high. And variation of phi depends on current because uh, phi itself depends on current. So that means when variation of current and phi is high, E is high. So if I go through these things, the variation of current is highest here, here, and here. Here the variation is high, but, but the value is decreasing. Here the variation is high, 
value increasing and here the variation is high value is again decreasing so it is high at uh, t2 t4 and t6 so uh, now we have to go for opposite ones so it should be either t2 and t4 where they're opposite and or t4 and t6 so you can't use t2 and t6 because in this case the uh, direction of emf will be same so either t24 or t4 and t6 so let me write here this is a t2 and this is t4 now the alternate current uh, in the solenoid s is in in b is replaced by a constant current of 5 ampere calculate the average emf induced in coil c when the current in solenoid s is reversed reversed in a time 6.0 ms so initial phi initial phi is equal to equal to b into a into n b into a into n and here the field lines will be uh field lines will be somewhat like this so angle will, we can consider angle as zero angle as zero so it's a b a into n and b uh, let's write b n then a phi 2 is equal to since now current is reversed since current is reversed the direction of field lines will also be reversed it should, it should be opposite so it should be minus b a n so one is BAN and the other is reverse, so minus BAN. So this gives us, therefore, uh, D phi is equal to phi 1 minus phi 2 equal to BAN minus minus BAN and that becomes equal to 2 BAN. So the value of E should be equal to, uh, in the numerator we have got a change of phi. In the denominator, it is a change of time or time required. So it is 2 B A N by the time dear, which is 6 milliseconds, 6.0 into 10 power minus 3. Now, uh, B is equal to, given here, related to current. So B is equal to, so 2 into B is 9.4 into 10 to the power minus 4 I into I. So I is equal to. 5.0 into a is uh, this is the diameter is the diameter so this gives us uh, the radius is equal to is equal to 1.8 into 10 to the power minus 2 so by half so if i use the radius here radius square so first pi uh, first pi into radius square which is 1.8 into 10 to the power minus 2 squared square 1.8 then the number of turns is equal to given somewhere here is 63 there 63 so everything here pi r square b is equal to uh, 9.4 into i so then we have got this time time is 6.0 into 10 to the power minus uh, minus 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 mm, minus 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 what's the time what's the time? millisecond so it is minus 3 now if I do the calculation here, so let's do it. So two into 9.4 exponent 10 to the power uh, minus 4 into uh, shift pi into 5.5 5, uh, into 1.8 exponent minus 2 square into 63 whole divided uh, 6 exponent minus 3. So this becomes equal to 0 0.10046 and so on volts. So when I write to uh, uh, 2SF only, it will be equal to 0 0.10. If I write 3SF, it will be equal to 0 0.100. So the answer is this much, 0 0.10 volt. So it's not a large value, but still it is a significant one. So this is the correct answer.